For God so loved the world that he got involved. He just dove in to save us. So the other day, I was, um, I was in the house, and uh, all of a sudden, I heard this cry, like a crying. And it was coming in our backyard. And I was like, what in the world is that? And I, when I went, I mean, it startled me. So I went to the back door, and, and look, what is it? And it was our evil cat. had gotten a hold of a baby bunny rabbit. I didn't know I wanted to tell this story, I'm telling you. I went to the back door and, have you you heard a rabbit cry? Man, it goes down your your, 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 your chills. It's a, I can't even do it. I was like, how's it coming out of that little thing? Wasn't it a little baby? It's kind of like, I don't know, kid? Bunny rabbit? A child bunny rabbit? Without thinking, I don't know what came over me. The next thing I know, I'm running in the backyard after that cat with the bunny rabbit saying, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. (laughs) True. I said, let her go. I didn't know if it was a girl. I said, let her go. I ran out of the cat running. Let her go. And finally... The cat realized I wasn't joking. (laughs) That her life was in danger, too. (laughs) And she dropped it and just looked at me. Like, dude, I'm a cat. And the little bunny took off and ran away. And I want to believe it turned around. <laughs> I said, thank you, kind sir. <laughs> thank you for delivering me from the mouth of the lion. <laughs> Apostle Paul said that before the verse we just read. He has delivered me from the mouth of the lion. And he will continue to deliver me and bring me home safely to my destination. 